Alrighty, hey guys, it's iTipster here, it's John. Today I have a product review on the Marware EcoView for the iPod Touch second generation, and it, uh, it is compatible with the 8, 16, and 32 gigabyte. But before I get into that, I want you guys to go check out Bride Dog Zero, I think that's how I pronounce it. It's spelled B R I, right here, B R I D O G Zero. Uh, he makes a whole a whole array of different uh, videos. He makes stuff on the iPod Touch and just random stuff like on video games um, and how to ollie and just random videos. So guys, go check him out. He's sitting on about 193 subscribers. I think we can get him to 200, and he's sitting on around 6,000 channel views, guys. So guys, go check him out, Bry Dog Zero. All right, so let's get right into this review, guys. Uh, like I said before, it is the Marware EcoView for the iPod Touch second generation. And if we flip it on over the back, it gives you a couple pictures of the case itself and a couple um, facts about it. So let me just go through the facts right now. It is a green executive style case. It is eco-friendly. It is an eco-friendly reinforced case. It has an open face design for full touch screen access. Allows full access to all touch features and functionality. It has a strap closure system and it includes the case itself, a clear film protector, and a microfiber cleaning cloth. And to top it all off, guys, it comes with a lifetime guarantee, which is very, very nice. So let's just get this case right out. Uh, very, very simple packaging. As you can see, it's just a little plastic um, container and the case itself. Alrighty, guys, sorry, I'm back. So as I was saying, guys, it really does give you the look and feel of real leather. If I smell it, it really does smell like leather and it really feels like leather, guys. It gives you that really, really nice feel. And if I'm on the website right now, it says the case is made from cornstarch polymers with a lining of recycled polyester, which gives you the look and feel of real leather without the, um, without leather. Um, and so if I take out a Proporta case, which is genuine leather, you can see that there really isn't any difference in the quality. I mean, this they both look like leather. This is actual leather. This is is um, not leather. But they both they both smell and feel like real leather. And it's a very big plus if you're looking for that leather style case, which isn't without the cost, basically. Um, so let's get this case right open, guys. There, to open it up, there's a little flap right here that tucks into the back. And as you can see, guys, there is that green, green, I think they call it um, the polyester, a lining. This is recycled polyester, but it is very, very velvety soft. And, guys, when you take out this little thing, they do include a little care package for you. They include, let's get this open, they include the, the uh, fake iPod, as you can see, an instruction manual, a squeegee card, um, a microfiber cloth, which is actually, in fact, very, very nice with their little engraved Marware symbol right there and a, um, a screen protector very very nice I already have a screen protector on right now but um, very very nice of them to include that little care package it always is a good thing for a company to include that so I'll put that off to the side let's get right into the case so here it is guys this is the EcoView made by Marware as you can see you can see that velvety soft lining on the inside which is made so it won't scratch your iPod but then you have that very very nice leathery look with lining a green, white stitching going all the way around the inside and uh, on the back too and on that little tab right here so let's slide my iPod in right now I already have it cleaned off and all you do is you basically just take your iPod and you slip it into the top here and you just push down very very easy to get in and out and it is very very nice and then all you do with this little tab is you just plop it in back and as you can see there's that recycled polyester on here like I said before so when you are sliding in your iPod it will not scratch your iPod whatsoever so here is the iPod inside the case, guys. As you can see, it does border your screen very, very nicely. It goes right up to that, right up to that, um, to the little black line. So it is not actually, in fact, um, covering your screen whatsoever. Uh, but it does line up perfectly with it. And as you can see, it dips down a little bit for your home button, which is very easy to access. There is no hard time pressing the actual button. Just a quick little press, you're right there. Um, and as you can see, the cutouts are very, very nice for this case. Perfect cutout for the um, dog, the uh, I guess the plug, the um, headphone jack, the uh, the vib the what vibrate switch, the um, what's the word again? Oh, the volume rockers and the sleep wake switch are all very, very accessible and very, very nicely cut out. Um, also, what I wanted to say is that the, it does give you a little bit of cushion in this case. As you guys can see, it does give you a, a good amount of cushion. It does add a tiny bit of bulk to your case, but that bulk is that cushiony stuff that you really don't have to worry about dropping your case. And it, they give you one hell of a lay on table design. As you can see, I turn it to the side. You guys can see that lip right here on all the sides. 
so I'm not worried about putting my iPod on the table like so. It is a very, very big lay on the table design, which in fact is a good and bad because, I mean, when you're typing like landscape or you're typing like this, it does kind of give you a little bit of a barrier feel, feel like your fingers can't go outside. But I mean, for that layout on the table design, it, it's pretty much worth it. So um, what else would I wanted to say? Oh yeah, okay, so that's, that's basically the pros of the case. The cons of the case is that, as you can see, there's, it's kind of like, um, uh, it's like the back case, and then you can see that little lip right here that kind of goes out like that. The only problem with that is, uh, can you guys see that? Let me get up. Oh, whoops. Fail. Okay, as you can see, see how it kind of comes out like that? All right, so the only problem with that is that when you are using this case and you want to touch your volume rocker, you kind of have to get used to that because you kind of have to get your finger into there like so. You kind of have to dig your finger into there just to hit the volume rocker just because if you try to go straight on, this little lip right here will catch your finger and it won't allow you to do that, which is kind of an annoyance, but I mean, it's not a very big thing. I don't, I don't really downgrade the case that much because of, so, of, because of that. So guys, it's pretty much the case. Um, I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. As you can see, it does come with that little Marware emblem right there. Um, it's a very, very nice case. If you guys are looking for that certain case, um, to, you know, to go to work with, or, you know, you want to do, like, you want to kind of, like, fancy up your case a little bit, this is the case for you. But, uh, frankly, this isn't my style of case. I'm more into the silicone and hard shell cases. But, um, guys, if you're looking for that really, really authentic, um, just amazing, like, quality-looking case. This is the one for you guys. This is a Marware EcoView made by Marware. Go check them out, www.marware.com. They have a couple products for the iPod Touch and a couple products for the iPhone 3G and a couple other accessories and laptop products, guys. So go check them out, marware.com. Also, check out the sponsor or, uh, the, uh, yeah, the sponsor of this video, Brydog Zero. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Links will be in the sidebar that way, and uh, have a great day.